Thousands of hematologists are embracing meaningful connections and learning about transformative research at the ASH annual meeting and exposition. Highlights from some of those experiences are coming up. You're watching ASH News TV. Inspiring, recruiting, and supporting researchers and clinicians from diverse backgrounds is at the heart of the long-standing commitment ASH has made to help combat inequities in both the hematology workforce and in patient care. Part of that mission is reflected in the ASH Health Equity Studio, a dedicated place for important conversations that shape the future for those underrepresented in medicine across patient and healthcare communities. This is a great year for ASH and its Health Equity Studio. I've been impressed how the topics have grown over time. This year, we're going to see um, topics on systemic racism. We're also going to learn about using community partnerships to advance healthcare equity. And then one of the things I'm looking forward to is looking at outcome disparities and the social determinants of health and how that interacts together. Some of the examples of the topic of community partnerships and how they advance healthcare equity include ASH itself. Its research collaborative has put front and center the Community Advisory Board Program, which is supposed to help elevate the patient voice as well as determine the research priorities from the community perspective. And this helps them work in tandem as part of the team in getting better clinical trials, and in this case, for sickle cell disease. In my personal experiences with sickle cell disease, both as a pediatric hematologist, as well as the person living with the disease, there are several challenges that face the sickle cell disease community. One is they don't feel seen. You know, sickle cell disease basically sits at an intersection of two uh, disparate groups. One is the group of being a rare disease. It's really difficult when um, you've never met somebody who's had your disease before, or you go to hospitals or receive care from places that don't seem to understand your disease. Then the other space that's more of a historical burden is the fact that sickle cell predominantly affects ethnic minorities. And so the disparities that we see reflected on every level for an ethnic minority in the United States is also reflected in the sickle cell disease space. And so battling those two makes the burden very great indeed. And I'm very proud that ASH has stepped up over several years now to give light to this disease and to show the magnitude of the problem. 